all around the world on Earth Day. You have activists and organizations using social media to pledge their future to tackle global warming. But as these messages spread online, so too does climate misinformation. Despite years of work from scientists, false facts about extreme weather conditions are continuing to spread. Let me show you one example. You may remember back in February this year when the US state of Texas was hit by an extreme snowstorm. This left millions of people without power and in a deep freeze. Now, as that snow continued to fall, some people online began to look for other reasons to explain this extreme weather. On conspiracy theory websites, people had spread the rumor that instead it was Joe Biden's administration which had stopped Texas from continuing to provide power to people during the snowstorm under policy. Now, these rumors were false, but they were still picked up and shared by some high profile people on social media, reaching tens of thousands of people. Now, we know that these claims are false because if you go back to the White House website from the month of February, you will see this press release, which indicates that Joe Biden's administration did indeed step up their work. They said that they provided support to prove Texas recovery and allow those Texas energy plants to continue to increase their emissions and provide power to those people in the United States who needed it during the snowstorm. Now, this is just one example of misinformation, but it's an indication, activists say, of how the spread of online falsities is changing. It is no longer people denying climate change because you can see these extreme weather conditions do happen. Instead, it is people looking for reasons to blame for why they are seeing extreme weather conditions, such as a snowstorm or wildfires. So what can be done about this? Well, social media platforms have been stepping up their action. Facebook has recently set up its Climate Science Information Center to dispel myths and provide facts on what is happening to the world's environment. But pair YouTube and Twitter are also under pressure to make sure that what you see and share online about global warming and climate change is true and informed.